Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your best staff. Welcome. My name is Mira, and on this channel, we do everything lifestyle, fashion, story time, and any other thing you guys recommend. Okay, so if this is something you might be interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I post a video, you will have first notified. And just in case you feel like you've seen this top, yes, it's for my haul. Okay, so you might want to check that video out. Okay, you guys, I style a different. Oh, why am I talking plenty? Anyway. Just like the title says, in today's video, we're going to be doing another story time. But this time, it's about the shortest relationship I've ever been in. Now, I'm still not sure if I was at fault, but you listen to this story and be the judge. Okay, you guys. So, this story happened when I was still in high school. I think my final year or third year. I'm not sure. So, I attended school in Bonga Half region, you guys. But before then, I was in the Northern region, right? So, I used to go back and forth, like, from the Northern region to the Bonga Half region or to Accra. It was, like, always like that. And um, at that time, my cousin, my auntie's son, had started schooling at the Sunyani Polytechnic. And Sunyani and Brickham, where I was schooling, was very, very close, right? So this was the time that I went to the north. And when I was coming back, my auntie was like, oh, your brother is there. So take this shito. Shito is um, black pepper for us. Um, not black, literal white it was black pepper. For the non Ghanaians, it's black pepper, okay? Black pepper stew pepper okay but Ghanaians you know what she thought is okay right so my auntie was like oh take this shit and go give it to him i think she added like some other provisions so i'm like okay but one thing you should know is that the station to his school was very far so if i had to go to him it means i had to get to the station get a car to where he was come back and take another bus to break home which was like a long process and by the way that day i didn't leave tamale very early so i would have gotten to Sunyani very late so fortunately for me, I remember like when I was in the bus, I was praying that God should like, I don't know how to do that kind of thing. But fortunately for me, as soon as I sat in the bus, the guy who was sitting next to me started to try and talk to me, you guys. One thing about me was that I, I'm still like that. Like, I like people, but leave me alone. You know, back then, whenever I'm traveling, wherever I'm going anywhere, I put earplugs in my ears. Like, I don't want disturbance. Unfortunately, some Ghanaians do not get it. Like some Ghanaian men, when you put earpiece in your ears, that's when we talk to you. Why, man? Have you ever sat in like a bus or whatever and you put earpiece in your ears and like someone will tap you and talk to you and then you take one out, speak to them and put it back and then they will tap you again. That was how I was. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. This guy was sitting beside me and each time he would tap me to talk to me and then I'll take it out and then I'll put it back. So eventually I got tired and I just like left it and I was like, okay, whatever. So this guy and I started talking. I think I remember asking the driver if there was anyone going there or something like that. And he was like, oh, he's going there. And that's how we started like a conversation. I feel like I used him right now. But that's how we started the conversation. And then he offered. He was like, oh, I shouldn't worry. He'll take it to him. And it was food, right? And he was a stranger. So he didn't know it was food because it was with other things. And to prevent it from pouring, usually we do that and we put like solid tape on it and we tighten different rubbers. So when he was like, oh, he'll take it out. That kind of thing. I called my cousin and he was like, okay, it's fine. So they spoke and they knew each other's holes or whatever. And they agreed that he would bring it instead. So through that, this guy got my number. Do you get where the story is going to? Now, throughout the ride, this guy kept asking me questions. And you know, like you guys, I'm sorry, but have you ever met someone who's just naturally annoying? I, I had a feeling that was how this guy was. He was kind of annoying, but he was a nice person, right? So it made me feel guilty for being, for like not being nice. And I wasn't rude, by the way. I wasn't rude, just that I just, I just wanted to be, I just wanted to listen to my song and move on. So I was kind of annoyed. But eventually we get to Sunyani and this guy gets down. He's like, okay, he takes my number, takes my cousin's number, and then he gives it to him. And I, you know, boys, boys, he became friends. You guys, from that day, this guy did not let me rest. Every day, this boy's calling me. Morning, afternoon, evening. And just so you know, yes, I sneak your phone into my school. Mm -hmm. It's a long story, okay? But yes, getting to my final year, I had a phone. I, I sneaked it inside it. Yeah. Anyway. So this guy like used to call me all the time like morning like he would call me like at random hours and you know that thing when you don't like someone they keep calling you like it bugs you like it, it pisses you off that was how i feel like this guy would just call me out and i'm like that kind of thing so i remember like each time he, he would call me and then he would be like oh and he wants to date me blah blah and i'm like no like i don't want to i'm not trusted so fast forward this boy there was this day that he said it was visiting or something like that. he was like he's coming to my place i'm like no and then this boy came he came there and kept talking. Oh, I really like you. I want to be your boyfriend. Why don't you give me a chance? Just give me a chance. That kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. I think he was coming. He bought me something. Did he didn't bring me anything. I think he bought me something. What, what he bought me pissed me off the more. I don't remember what he bought me. But whatever he bought me, it pissed me off even more. I'm not sure, you guys. It's, it's, it's been a long time. But this guy came in. He kept to him going on and on and on and on about it. So after he left, it was still the same thing. Mind you, he was way older than me. That was facts. Like I was in SHS. He was in, was in college. 
So this guy kept like calling me. So when he left, it was still the same thing. Every day he called me, he would be like, Oh, please just try me. Like, try me. I promise you, you'll never regret it. Just try me. You'd enjoy it. I promise you, I can make your life so better. I can treat you like a queen. <sighs> By that time, I had some boy that was really deceiving me. I had some boy that was. My market was doing. My market was loading. But me, now, I'm not sweating. So I wasn't. See, I like out of the sea. Like. <clears throat> So this boy was like making noise every day be like hey try me just try me so i kept going on and on and on and on and like back then you guys like i said i don't know if you follow my story but back then i was very meek and it wasn't like i couldn't say no actually i was very i could be very rude when it came to men because at that time i didn't like men but at the same time i felt bad that i kept saying no doesn't make sense so this guy kept going on and on and on and one day he called me and was saying go and i was like okay you know what it's just try right i was like okay fine i'll try you so, no, I, I told me I was going to think about it back then, kid stuff. So I was like, you know what, don't worry, I'll think about it. So, for instance, I told him I was going to think about it on Friday, right? On Saturday, very early morning, I was supposed to do inspection or something like that. I woke up in the morning and I texted him. Like, it wasn't planned, you guys. I promise you. <laughs> I wish it was planned, but it wasn't. So, I woke up in the morning. He called me and I was like, he was like, he was about to go about it, you guys, early in the morning. And I was like, you know what? Was that the one who called him? I think he called me and I was like, oh, you know what? Okay, since he said I should give you a chance, I'll give you a chance. I was like, okay, he was so happy and it was relating. It's like, you will regret it. And I'm like, okay, fine. So that day, when I said yes, like I went through the day and there's something about me to like, I overthink things. And I knew that I didn't like this guy. I knew that he annoys me. Like he annoys the hell out of me. And that's, that has always been me. Like, it's either I like you or I don't like you. There's no in between. Okay. If I like you, you would know. If I don't like you, you would know. But... If I don't like you, I can be civil around you. Just that I don't like you. You understand? And you will know it. So he was like the guy was annoying. I found him annoying, right? So the whole day he just kept bugging me. Like, why would you say yes to someone you clearly do not like? Why would you say yes when you know very well that it ain't gonna happen? So I kept thinking about it. So I remember like that day, like I wanted to see, and I was like, you know what? Let's just chill. Let's just chill. So I waited uh, and. Funny enough, that day he didn't actually overcall me. You know, like you know how they do the campaign and when they get the thing, they they stop campaigning. It looked like that. At exactly six p.m., I called him and I was like, you know what? So um, I've given you a try, and I still think it's a bad idea. So let's end it. <laughs> you guys. So I called him at six, and I was like, you know what? It's like I mean, I tried. He said I should give you a chance. I did, and he said. I should just give you a try i did from six to six like that's more than enough that kind of thing so um i'm sorry but we have to call it quits because i'm not feeling this and that kind of thing you guys this guy was upset he was obviously pissed and he kept asking me what happened there was a problem and um, we went on and on. i was like like i'm just not feeling it okay that being said when a lady says no sometimes it actually means no like she's not trying to flex you she's not trying to do whatever it's no no means no okay anyway so this guy first he was like trying to talk to me about it and he was trying to like ask me questions and whatever whatever but eventually got pissed and then he hung up and then i think after that he blocked me or something like that i think so okay and that was the shortest relationship i've ever been in that being said you guys was i wrong i mean yeah i was wrong for accepting in the first place but i feel like i did it right for not playing along i was in school back then everyone let me be honest with you guys at that time when i was even calling this guy saying nah, i'm not interested people around me were like no versus and he will bring you stuff and stuff like that. i was like you know at the time i feel like i shouldn't have even said yes in the first place and i feel like i said yes in the first place because he kept calling and my mates kind of found it cool and kind of romantic and a part of me also felt that oh this guy's trying so let me give him a chance don't do that don't don't, don't do that i've never never do that okay this world is like that just like he was rushing me and i was ignoring him someone was ignoring me too it's a side i'm not trying to like ignore people because someone else is ignoring i'm just trying to see that if you don't like someone you don't like them there's something you can do about it instead of being inside it and then hurting the person and hurting yourself imagine if i had like if i had kept it going on and on and on and then one day i say no and this guy has invested his emotions his money and everything what happens like i just ruined a poor guy's life or whatever i don't think would have gotten to that stage i don't think would have been too hard working but i'm just saying i'm just giving you a scenario okay so this is me trying to explain myself i feel like okay i did him bad but I, I, I don't know i don't know whatever you guys let me know what you think in the comment section was i right to leave what is the shortest relationship you've ever been in okay and how did it go how did it end 
let me know in the comment section i got blocked okay and i think i deserved it i'm not even i'm not even pissed about it i i deserved it totally but let me know about your stories and you know i always end my stories with advice take it or leave it but ladies no matter what do not date a man because you are pressured into it do not date a man because you feel like he's there for you or he's too good to you i mean yeah sometimes you can fall in love with someone who is kind to you or whatever like there's a difference between someone who is good for you and someone you are having pity on or someone you're just using anyway um thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you liked it let me know what your stories are because i want to know and i'll see you in my next video until next time oh wait 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 have you subscribed please do that okay it's absolutely free like hit it okay and i'll see you in my next video until next time i love you guys so much and bye